Next up, messages. So messages is the most frequently used app on iOS, and in iOS 8, it's better than ever. So when it comes to group messaging, we have some great enhancements. You can now name your threads. You can add or remove people from a conversation underway. And if you've ever been on one of those noisy threads that just keeps buzzing in your pocket, well, you can do not disturb on a per thread level, and you can choose when to leave the thread. This is pretty important. Now, you also can share your location with people in a conversation, and if they've shared their location with you, you can see it from right with inside messages. And you also have a really great at-a-glance view of all of the pictures and attachments that are shared on any thread. But one feature that I really love is our new tap to talk. You just hold your finger down on the microphone button, and then you can just swipe up with your finger when you're done talking and send what you said. And it's really great for video messaging as well. So to give you a quick demo of the all new messages, I'd like to bring up Greg Joswick to the stage. Jaws? Thank you, Craig. It's fun to be up here to be the first one to show you what a rich and powerful platform for communication messages has become. So let's get right into it. So I got a message here waiting from my friend and coworker, Kim Braff. So I could just slide that, of course, as usual, go straight into my messages. And what I see here is I have a thread between me, Kim, and Craig. But what I have that's new in the upper right-hand corner is this details button. So if I tap it, gives me all kinds of information about the participants and the message. For one, Craig and Kim have decided to share their location with me. So Craig, of course, is up here with us in San Francisco, while Kim is working hard back in Cupertino. Thanks, Kim, for that. One of the things I can do is add context. I can add people to this conversation as we go, but I could also choose to share my location. So if I just tap share my location, I can choose to share my location for an hour for the rest of the day, or I can keep sharing it until I stop uh, somewhere in the future. But what's really convenient is this do not disturb button. How many times have you been in one of those super chatty group conversations that your phone is just continuing to buzz over and over? Well, now I can just choose to do not disturb that particular thread and not get my phone buzzing. So I'm gonna find that useful with Kim and Craig, I know that for sure. <laughs> or I can even leave this conversation with just a single tap. What's also convenient is the fact that I have all the attachments, all the photos from this conversation all in one place. So they still appear in line in the thread, but now when, instead of trying to find that picture by scrolling, 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 they all come in one place here in the thread. So very, very convenient. So let's go back to that conversation. Kim had asked me how it's going. Well, I have lots of ways to reply to her. I could tap out with just a few taps and you know, use my predictive keyboard, a message, but it's even cooler that I can now do an audio or video message to her with just a swipe. So let's send back an audio message to her. Hey Kim, I'm just hanging out here with about 6,000 of our closest friends, having a good time while Craig takes a much deserved break backstage. Slide up, sends the message just like that. Super easy. And I can do the same thing with a video message or even with a selfie. So I'm gonna dare a selfie here. Let's hold down the camera button. <laughs> not, not my best look. Uh, let's see what Kim has to say about that. So I can see I got an audio message from Kim. All I have to do is tap the play button and hear the message. Impressive, Jaws. You've totally mastered the duck face selfie. Well, it, I'm glad she likes it. So, so it's super duper easy to, to do these sort of things. You notice that it said it would expire in a couple minutes because you don't want to have to clean these up. Audio and video messages can take up space. So self-destruct unless you choose to keep, whoa, what's this? So Craig should be backstage, but he apparently has sent me a message, and it looks important, so if you don't mind, I'm gonna play it back, and I can play it back in line, even with the video message here. Joss, we've got a serious situation developing back here. I can't control this. These aren't gonna work. Try it, you've got to do something. I got it. <laughs> Joss, I'm gonna need you to buy some more time. <laughs> 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 Needless to say, hair like that doesn't come easy. So while, while he's dealing with this crisis backstage, 
oh, look, I've actually got an audio message from them. Now, what's really cool is I can actually listen to audio messages and reply to them from the lock screen simply by raising the iPhone to my ear. Hey, Joss, uh, we got the crisis contained back here. I'm, uh, I'm good to go, so wrap it up whenever you're ready. And that's that, li that easy to listen to a message, and I can reply to it the same way. Craig, it's good to hear that you survived the great hair crisis of 2014. I'll get things wrapped up here, and we'll get the show back to you. Lower it, and the message is sent. Super easy. So. So that's the all new messages app, super easy, super powerful. Send a message with just a swipe or even just by raising it to your ear. So thank you everybody. Woo!